So I made a mod that gives Pokorog a new game mode that randomizes your starters and their stats. So the first thing I want to show you is what it does. I'll show you how to do it soon, so stick around. So the first thing you want to do is create a new account so that no Pokemon are unlocked except for the starters. And so I'm going to go ahead and run the mod. And now you can see I only have three Pokemon unlocked. One is a Rattata, one is a Ponyta, and the last one's a Nimble. And so basically what this is doing is it's taking all the dex numbers from Pokorog and it's only unlocking three Pokemon for you to use. And I'm going to use Ponyta as an example to show you guys how this all works. So egg moves are unlocked randomly. You can either have none or all four. You can see here we have three. With the abilities, you could have one unlocked, you could have two, you could have the hidden ability. It just depends. It's all random. So here you can see we have two abilities, but we don't have the hidden. With passive, it's also random. So you either have it or you don't. We got lucky with Ponyta. We actually do have Magic Guard. And then all of the IVs are also randomized. And so these are on a normal scale. So you have a higher percentage chance to get towards the middle and a lower percentage chance to get either a high IV or a low IV. There's also a percentage-based system for shinies, which I'll explain with Nimble. So you have an 84% chance to get just a regular Pokemon, 10% chance to get a yellow shiny, 5% chance to get a blue, and a 1% chance to get a red. And that'll help you with the luck in your run. And then last thing, you can see how these guys have super low cost. And I wanted to do that because I want you to be able to put all three of these Pokemon on your team. If you somehow got lucky and got all the legendaries and the costs weren't reduced, you wouldn't be able to fit all of them on your team. So this is the workaround for that. It's also the way you'll know if one of your already unlocked starters was selected because it'll have a lower cost. So if this way Coco actually was randomly selected for me, it would have a 0 0.003 cost as well. And so the goal of this game is to take the three random starters that you get with all of the random stats, egg moves, and abilities, and see how far you can get. And if you get a stacked team full of shinies or full of legendaries, or if you actually beat the game doing this, I want you to comment below and let me know. Nimble, you struggle bug. Let's go. And now I want to show you guys how to do it. So like I said, the first thing you want to do is create a new account and then go to the starter selection screen. Once you're there, you want to hit F12, and that's going to pull up this menu right here. From here, you want to go down here to where it says search. If you can't find it, click on these three dots and go up to search and click on it. Sometimes it's hidden down here. If you click on it, it'll pop up. In the search bar, you want to type in show use candies and hit enter. And that's going to bring this up. You want to click on it, and then it's going to populate in this window. You want to go one up from show use candies and insert a breakpoint. So that's one up from show use candies breakpoint. Then you want to click back in the game, go over to a Pokemon, hit the space bar, go down to use candies and hit space bar again. Now that's going to pause the debugger. Now from here, I want to show you guys the code. Now this is massive. It's like three pages, but it's literally just copy and paste. So you can see here, this is all of the dex numbers of the Pokemon, and it's going to select three from here to randomly unlock for you. And you can see here, there's random functions for everything, your abilities, your candy count, your egg moves, your passives. You can see I have value reduction fixed to 10. And that's so you can play with all three of these Pokemon. And down here, your IVs, you can see it's on a normal distribution. The mean is 16 and the standard deviation is five. So that's going to pull most of these IVs to the middle, but you still have a percentage chance to get really high or really low. And this down here is the randomness for shiny. So like I said, you have an 84% chance just for a regular, 10% chance for that first tier, 5% chance for the second, and 1% chance for that red tier. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy all of this, and once you're done, go back into the game. Once you're back into the game, you wanna come up here where it says sources and console, and you wanna click on console. And so once you're here, if you can't paste, you wanna type in allow pasting and hit enter, and that should allow you to paste. Next, you wanna paste the code, so we're gonna hit control V. And so this is our whole code. It's got our Pokemon, it's got all that randomness in there, and then we're gonna hit enter. Once we do, we're gonna go back into the game, unpause the debugger, exit out up here, and then you're gonna go back to the main menu, go back into new game, and then we should have our random Pokemon unlocked. So we got a Snubble, we got a Smoochum. Uh, we didn't get a Shiny on either of these. That's bad. We didn't get a passive on Snubble either. Ugh. And our last one's a Surviper. Also not shiny. We did get a passive though. Now Smooshim's IVs are pretty good. So who knows how this run would turn out. But anyway, I've been having a lot of fun with this and it took me a really long time to make. Like I said, if you guys get an awesome team or you have a really good run or even if you beat the game, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear about it. Now go out there and beat this new game mode.